Good morning. Welcome to today's Student Leadership Awards Lunch. Thank you so much for everybody being here today. It's so great to see such a wonderful, lively crowd of people here. Yeah. Anyway, welcome. Uh, I'm so glad to be here, and even if I'm virtual, to be able to share in the excitement and thank you all for everything that you've done to make this campus great. I know that this is crazy times. I know that this is uh, something we didn't anticipate, and I know this has really thrown a, a monkey wrench into all of our great plans for the year. But that does not diminish all of the great work that our student leaders did on the field, outside the classroom, all over campus, making this place better, making your lives better, improving your leadership skills and your development skills, all of the things that you've done to lay a foundation for your fellow classmates in years to come is not diminished by what we're dealing with right now. In fact, in many ways, it's been enhanced. I am so excited that we are still able to come together, even if it's virtually, to celebrate all of your great work, to thank you for all that you've done, and to look forward to the future of where we're gonna go from here. Thank you for making Damon the special place that it is. Years from now, you're gonna look back on this and you're gonna say, wow, what the hell was I wearing? Because I do that now when I look at pictures from the 90s, I don't know what I was doing. But more importantly, you're gonna look back at this time and you're gonna say, I made it through that. And I made it through that stronger and I'm a better person for it. And I'm gonna look back at it and this college is gonna look back at it and say, thank you for what you did to get this college through this and to make this college stronger also. So from all of us at Damon College, thank you, congratulations for everything you've done, and let's begin our wonderful Student Leadership Awards program. Thank you. Dr. Nair, thank you so much for those warm words of welcome. We are so excited to have you as a part of this virtual experience. Thank you for always making sure that our students are celebrated on this campus. Now to get started with the awards. Our first award is the Student Athlete Advisory Committee Leadership Award. This award will be presented by Haley Dietrich. It is my honor to award Tierra Filbert, Jamie Boyer, Monet Marchioni, Ryan Beck, and Madison Flores with the Student Athlete Advisory Committee Leadership Award. This award is given to the Damon Athletics Executive Board members for their dedication to their sport and bettering the lives of their fellow athletes. These athletes strive daily to enhance the experience of being a Damon Wildcat athlete by voting on legislation, programming for all students, and engaging in community in which they live. Thank you for your leadership. For those of you returning, I look forward to continuing your leadership development. And for those of you graduating, take what you have learned and flourish. As always, be fierce. Thank you, Haley, and congratulations to all the award winners. I'll now pass it off to Nick Frappa, who will be presenting on behalf of the Student Physical Therapy Association. The Student Physical Therapy Association seeks to unite its members in a spirit of inclusiveness, collaboration, and growth. The SPTA identifies the attributes of inspiration, motivation, commitment, vision, and organization as crucial to the community service, social, and academic and professional success of the association, as well as the students who make it up. Today, we're honoring four student physical therapists who exemplify these traits. From the DPT class of 2021, we recognize Irene Berry, Sarah Hill, and Dan Clark. And from the DPT class of 2022, we recognize Victoria Talbot. Dan and Sarah are student leaders in the class of 2021. They have shown leadership qualities through their positions as co-academic chairs in the SBTA. During the transition to online classes, Dan and Sarah relayed information, questions, and concerns between the students and professors, and also created a class Google Calendar to help everyone manage the transition. Victoria is a student physical therapist in the class of 2022. Like Dan and Sarah, Victoria is also an academic chair for her class. Victoria coordinated the new learning plan between professors and students and also created a class calendar events to keep everyone organized. Irene is a student physical therapist, student physical therapist in the class of 2021. She's always making a conscious effort to inform the entire class of important events and ensure that everyone is included. 
For example, the SPTA Spring Gala was canceled, so Irene got the class together for an online gala. The SPTA recognizes Irene for her ability to motivate the class, stay organized, and be a class leader. leader. Thank you, Nick, and congratulations to all of the Student Physical Therapy Association winners. You've done an amazing job. Congrats. Now we will have Ashley Frazier presenting the Wildcat Wellness Leadership Award on behalf of Wildcat Wellness. This year, I had the privilege of working with Sam in her leadership role as a health and wellness liaison for the campus activities team and Wildcat Wellness. If I had to describe Sam in one word, it would be commitment. In all that Sam does, she brings a level of commitment that is rooted in attention to detail and simply doing the work. She does not cut corners. She is intentional, and her commitment to creating engaging wellness initiatives attracted the attention and participation of hundreds of students this past year. Most recently, Sam was nominated for the Judd Student Voice of Mental Health Award. This award honors a student doing outstanding work on their campus in the field of mental health. Sam's work is more than outstanding. It has been a pleasure to see her energy and commitment to helping her peers make informed wellness decisions. Sam, I look forward to seeing all the wonderful things that you do in the future to help others with their mental health. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Ashley, and congrats, Sam, on a well-deserved award. I'd now like to pass it off to Lisa Cross, who will be presenting on behalf of Academic Advisement for the Peer Mentor Award. Peer mentors play an integral role assisting first-year students during their fall semester. A peer mentor exhibits strong time management skills, creativity, availability to meet with mentees, and is a team player who works well with others. This year, Damon was fortunate to have an outstanding group of peer mentors, which made this decision a difficult one. However, one student stood out. His evaluations showed students found him extremely helpful and very knowledgeable. In fact, students he worked with shared, he allowed me to be able to stay on task and stay prepared throughout college. Also, another student shared, his friendliness helped me with adjusting to college, and I appreciate knowing he is someone I can go to when I have questions. As I said before, because of such a great group of peer mentors, this was a difficult decision. But this year's winner managed multiple leadership roles on campus, exhibited strong time management skills, creativity with activities including a campfire and movie night, was always available for students and worked well with others. Therefore, I am honored to present this year's Peer Mentor Award to Eric Matthews. Congratulations. Thank you for that presentation and Eric, congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Next, we will have Kate Hammer come to give awards on behalf of Alumni Relations and the Student Alumni Ambassadors. The Student Alumni Ambassador Program was initiated through the Alumni Relations Office to provide its members the opportunity to enhance student involvement in all areas of advancement from alumni relations to fundraising. A nationally recognized organization, their mission is to seize upon every opportunity to elevate and heighten the college's image and to instill pride within the greater college community. Today, we acknowledge the students that will be graduating this year for their participation in the Student Alumni Ambassador Program. Thank you, Madeline Buffalino, Emily Kruder, and Tysay Washington. The Sarah N. Hartman Outstanding Student Leader Award is named in honor of the first member of the Student Alumni Ambassadors to win a Case ASAP Outstanding Student Honor. The award is presented to an undergraduate ambassador whose achievements and ongoing efforts have advanced the Student Alumni Ambassador Program. This year, we are pleased to present the Sarah N. Hartman Outstanding Student Leader Award to Jennifer Hertz. The Michael G. Patain Andrew C. Wheeler Outstanding Student Leadership Award is named in honor of the two founding members of the Student Alumni Ambassadors. The award is presented to a graduating ambassador who has provided outstanding leadership for the organization, 
has demonstrated respect for the goals and ideals of the Student Alumni Ambassador Program, the Alumni Relations Program, and Damon College. This year, we are pleased to present the Michael G. Patain Andrew C. Wheeler Award to Madeline Buffalino. Thank you, Katie Hammer, and congrats to all of your Student Alumni Ambassador Award recipients. Now, we'd like to have Tiffany Hamilton from the Arthur O'Eve HEOP program to present her awards. The HEOP Student Leader of the Year Award honors a student that makes meaningful contributions to the HEOP community as a responsible village member and inspires the development of others while upholding the rights and responsibilities that govern HEOP. Always mindful that they are a reflection of HEOP, this student owns the responsibility of representing the tenants of HEOP, trust, respect, and integrity, as they navigate across the Damon campus. It is with great pleasure and an honor to present the HEOP Student Leader of the Year Award to Ms. Talena Smith. Our second award recognizes a graduating senior who exemplifies leadership, service, and academic excellence. This student not only excelled in campus involvement, but also with her academic achievement. It is with great pleasure that we present the HEOP Outstanding Senior Award to Ms. Michaela Otero. Thank you and congratulations to Talena and Michaela on your awards. Our next presenter is Danielle Weaver and she'll be presenting the Service to Housing and Residence Life Awards. Hi, my name is Danielle Weaver and I'm the Director of Housing and Residence Life. Today I'm here to present three awards to our graduating seniors. Jules Moffat, Matt Griffith, and Tysay Washington. Jules has been with us for three years as an RA and will be here next year, so we're so thankful for that. Matt Griffith has just finished his second year as an RA here at Damon and we're so thankful. Tysa joined us for her senior year and we are so lucky to have had her. Congratulations to our graduating seniors. You'll go do great things. We will miss you. Thank you, Danielle, and congrats students on your well-deserved award. I'd now like to pass it off to Kim Pagana, who will be presenting her LEADS program Lighthouse Award. The LEAD Center is an initiative designed to complement the academics at Damon and help our students to further develop their leadership skills. The LEADS program provides students, faculty, and staff with leadership speakers, conferences, and workshops throughout the academic year. This year, we would like to recognize five students for going above and beyond in their pursuit of leadership education by attending numerous LEAD-sponsored or recognized events this past year. These five students are receiving the Lighthouse Award. This award of distinction represents the principles of guidance, strength, leadership, responsibility, and excellence. This year's winners are Alexa Kasaki, Fidel Nibizi, Kimberly Wiggins, Lena Gruber, and Emily Renner. Congratulations to all of you on a very well-deserved achievement. Congratulations to those five students. Now we'll have Dr. George Seaford presenting the Undergraduate Social Work Exceptional Student Leader Award. Good morning. It's my pleasure to announce that this year's 2020 Student Leadership Award recipient from the Undergraduate Social Work Program is Alicia Coltrera. Alicia has shown tremendous leadership through her involvement in Eye to Eye a national advocacy and mentoring organization run by and for individuals with learning differences. She is a diplomat, speaker, and chapter leader for Eye to Eye. Last year, she attended the National Day of Action in Washington, D.C., where she advocated for college students with learning differences to receive needed services for success in school. In addition, Alicia was vice president for the Social Work Alliance, where she planned campus activities to raise awareness for eye-to-eye -eye and is a member of a campus sorority. 
Alicia is a hardworking student dedicated to helping others. And we congratulate her on her achievement. Congratulations, Alicia, on your award. I'd now like to introduce Karen Cash and Jen D. Thorne on behalf of Student Affairs to present their award. This is for the Outstanding Student Affairs Assistant Award. Student Affairs would not function as well if not for the efforts of the student assistants who help make out up our team. All the team members are important and yet some team members stand out above the crowd. This year we would like to recognize one of those exceptional students with the Outstanding Student Affairs Assistant Award. This year's winner is Tyra Saunders. Tyra has consistently proven herself to be reliable, friendly, responsible, and go above and beyond her typical duties. Whenever you see her, she is always smiling and willing to help. Since she was hired, she has worked for many departments within the division and done so with grace and good humor. Her adaptability and positive attitude have made her a pleasure to know and supervise. We will miss Tyra when she graduates and wish her all the best in her future endeavors. Thank you, Tyra, for being the wonderful person that you are. B. Slick will be presenting the Vision for Success Leadership Award. Hello, my name is B. Slick, and I'm so pleased to present leadership awards to Charvet Hutchins Carter and Justin Wright, two Vision for Success juniors, almost seniors. Both Justin and Charvet have been valuable members to our vision program, enthusiastically volunteering wherever and whenever needed. Especially important has been their participation in our welcoming program for our vision freshmen, leading discussions and fun activities. In addition, both have contributed to the Damon community in many diverse roles. Charvet has served as a peer mentor, as well as having an active role in the Black Student Union, serving as its secretary. This year, she did an incredible job as co-founder of the first annual Black Excellence Awards Gala. Justin has been an excellent role model in the Brother to Brother organization, where he also served as its secretary. In addition, Justin did an amazing performance in two-person play, Actually. And both Justin and Charvet have served on panels promoting Damon to high school students. Please join me in congratulating these two outstanding Damon College leaders, Charvet Hutchins Carter and Justin Wright. Thank you. Congratulations to Charvet and Justin. Next, we will have our Dean of Students, Carrie Spicer, come to present the Megan Resinowski Award on behalf of Career Services. Megan Rasinowski was a student at Damon who embodied the core values of determination, drive, and grit. During her time at Damon, she excelled academically, was involved on and off campus, participated in a number of distinctive internships, and made her mark not only at Damon, but also in the community. In her honor, we have established the Megan Rasinowski Outstanding Intern Award, and it is my pleasure to give this award today. The winner of this year's award is Nicole Conklin. Nicole is the perfect fit for this award. She has exemplified academic excellence throughout her four years and will graduate this year with a degree in business administration, majoring in marketing and minoring in entrepreneurship and public relations. Nicole demonstrates leadership on campus as well as in the community. She has been the captain of the Damon College cheerleading team, as well as a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee a student athlete mentor for Western New York Girls in Sports, and a volunteer for the Center for Allied and Unified Sports and Exercise. As a student, Nicole's communication, adaptability, and decision-making skills have made her a strong student in Damon's business department. Nicole did such an outstanding job in her internship as the commercial marketing intern at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Western New York that she was asked to return for a second semester. We are thrilled to present Nicole Conklin with the second annual Megan Rasinowski Outstanding Intern Award. Congratulations, Nicole. Thank you, Dean Spicer, for presenting such an incredible award to Nicole. Nicole, congratulations. Now, I'd like to pass it along to Dr. Greg Nayer to present the Chris Malik Student Leader of the Year Award. Oh, hello there. 
allow me to take a quick break from my busy work schedule to introduce the winner of the Chris Malik Student Leader of the Year Award. This year, the winner of this award, named after Damon's long-standing Director of Student Activities, was chosen amongst a long list of well-qualified recipients nominated by uh, other faculty, staff, and students. The award goes to an individual who has exhibited outstanding leadership and or service to the college community during the past academic year. And this year, we are presenting that award to our very own Talina Smith. Talina is a student who embodies the spirit of this award. She is heavily involved, as everybody knows, in several student organizations, including the African Student Association, the Black Student Union, CRU, Psychological Sciences Student Association, Student Government Association, Wildcat Media Entertainment, and many more. She has played a key role in the restructuring of SGA as a Vice President and will serve as the 2020-2021 SGA President. Aside from holding these key leadership positions with numerous student organizations, Talina also serves as a student alumni ambassador and a member of the newly formed Traditions Committee. These are just a few of the ways that Talina, or T, as you all know her, has positively impacted this campus community. Her passion and love for Damon is evident in everything that she does. Through all of her endeavors, T has consistently represented the college in a really positive way and has strived to create better opportunities for her peers. Please join me in congratulating Talina Smith on her achievements. I look forward to seeing her and congratulating her in person once I can again, and her work will be memorialized up outside the student uh, life office on a plaque for perpetuity. Congratulations and thank you. And now back to my busy work schedule. Hi, it's Chris Malik here wanting to say congratulations to you, the 2020 recipient of the Chris Malik Student Leader of the Year Award. I wish we could all be doing this in person, but please know that sincere best wishes accompany this video. I had the privilege of working at Damon College for many years, and my time there and the interactions I had with students and my colleagues I really treasured. Having this leadership award named after me is an honor I'm both proud of and humbled by. Receiving this award demonstrates that you have already been a successful leader on campus. As we celebrate your accomplishments, remember that leadership is a lifelong endeavor and it is defined not just by your success, but more profoundly by your values and your personal ways of being. Always strive to be truthful and dedicated, and enthusiastic, as well as thoughtful and kind. And make sure you have some fun along the way. Once again, congratulations on receiving this award and best wishes to you in your lifelong journey of being a leader in all that you do. Congratulations to the 2019-2020 recipient of the Chris Malik Student Leader of the Year Award. Congratulations. It is now time for our current president of the Student Government Association to pass the gavel. The passing of the gavel symbolizes the transition between one executive board and to the next. Please welcome our 2019-2020 president, Ricardo Marquez. Hello, Damon community members, students, friends, graduates. As we conclude the year, and take joyous, memorable moments that will last years to come. Some of these moments we take with great pride, and others, we get a sense of like, I should have done that, but it's okay, because we all share these moments at Jane. In our time, as we move back and forth through dance skirts, to go to our classes, to meet our friends, or to simply learn how to maneuver and learn new experiences in our life and education. It was a growing experience. As the academic year of the 2019 and 2020 concludes, so does my tenure as president of the Student Government Association. As many of you know, I am graduating 
this semester with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science with a triple minor in Spanish, Pre-Law, and Criminal Justice, in which I am incredibly thankful to all my four years. I am grateful to my friends, professors, and set of professionals that I got to interact throughout my journey. But it all comes to an end. I want to recapitulate on some of the great occasions and changes completed in the past year. First, SGA became a stronger governing body with the agenda to mediate issues on behalf of the student body. Second, we also help to formulate new policies that are yet to be implemented in the next five years. Besides, and personally, one of the most important conversations we help is the willingness to continue to fight to create a more diverse and inclusive institution, especially to be more considerate, understandable, and tolerant to the new different set of cultures and issues underrepresented students slash minorities and other demand community members deal with it on a daily basis. I am proud of the great work done and much more to come. To the 2020 graduates, I know this is not what we wanted nor envisioned in our freshman year, but it is our reality. COVID-19 has affected everyone's lives and so it has disrupted the institution. I want to congratulate all of us, we did it. Congratulations to the local, outside state and international students. I am proud of all of you and to all first time college graduates as and more. I am extremely fond and proud of our success. Do not let these dire times overshadow your success and future. I want you to continue in your goals and visions in the near future and to let me know as we are a Damon family, let's keep in touch. Now, my tenure comes to completion with an annual passing of the guidance. Because of the recent circumstances, we cannot officiate in a normal setting, typically conducted in the Student Leadership Award, but rather I am hosting a virtual passing of the guide. As I raise this moment to the new SGA president, I pass down the pledge responsibilities to continue to fight with the student body, to continue to create a diverse and inclusive environment, and to continue to enforce all currently implemented policies that have helped the institution as a whole. The symbolic transfer of responsibilities officiates my culmination and initiates a new beginning. I am confident in the new SGA president, Tilina Smith, who happened to be my vice president in the last year, who is very involved with the student and college life, and without doubt, will do an incredible job handling the SGA executive board. Please. Help me congratulate her on her success and a new chapter. I envision SGA to continue to serve as the bridge between all Damon community students slash members, mitigate issues that pertain to students and continue to unify the institution. As I depart back to California, I am taking one year off from school to study for the L standard for apply to law schools. Like I said before, our time does not end here, but it commences a new future. I am extremely grateful for the opportunity given. I am thankful to everyone who helped me in my journey. Thank you and goodbye. Hi everyone, it's T. I hope you guys are doing well today. I would like to say thank you for everyone that voted and I am so excited to be an advocate for you guys this year and I hope you guys are excited as I am. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you. And I can't wait to see what the new year brings us. Hi everyone, this is Heather Macklin, Director of Student Activities. Thank you so much for attending today's program. We know this isn't the ideal format that you would have liked, but we appreciate all of our nominators and all of our winners for submitting information for this presentation. Thank you so much and we hope you enjoyed it. 
And student activities would not have been the same without all of you this year. So we really appreciate all the hard work our student leaders put in, all of our award attendees. Congratulations. Um, it's very well deserved. And we hope that even though we couldn't do this in person, at least virtually, we hope that you know, you see how important this was to us that we still continue to do this. So thank you again for making student activities and just campus life what it is. We can't wait for next year and we can't wait to get some of you back on campus um, to just make it a better year than, than last, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not already, make sure that you're following Damon Life. We'll be posting a lot of engagement opportunities for the summer and we're going to get ready for an awesome academic year. Thanks for watching. Thank you.